Hi everyone, I'm Mike Gualtieri, Forrester Analyst and your host of Forrester Technopolitics. On this episode, special episode of Forrester Technopolitics, I'm here with Eric Siegel, founder of Predictive Analytics World and author of the recent book, Predictive Analytics, which I love, by the way. Thank you, I appreciate that. So Eric, uh, first question for you is, why Predictive Analytics now? Um, and why did you write this book now? It, it's, a it's a very hot topic. Well, you know, the industry has really come to uh, fruition very well. It's been growing like crazy in the last several years, few years, et cetera. And there's a lot of excitement these days about big data. And the thing that's exciting about big data isn't just that there's a lot of it or there's a whole, it's just a bunch of numbers, it's that data actually encodes experience. It's a, it's, it's a list, it's a huge recording of things that have happened. So for an organization, it's a recording of the experience, the aggregate experience of that organization from which to learn and the most actionable thing, the real value we get from all this data is to learn from it to predict. And what predictive analytics does is you're learning from the data to predict for each individual, individual customer, patient, voter, uh, law enforcement, suspect, et cetera. So across all kinds of sectors, all kinds of organizations. So writing the book, which is titled Predictive Analytics, uh, the subtitle of the book speaks to sort of the cross sector. The subtitle of the book is The Power to Predict Who Will Click, Buy, Lie, or die, right? So it speaks to healthcare, speaks to all these different sectors. Those are just four verbs, but those are the different actions, all different types of behaviors uh, that, that, that we do as humans. And where would you say most organizations are in terms of adopting predictive analytics or using it? I'd say there's good penetration now in the sense that pretty much virtually all large organizations are using it for something, whether it's in marketing, uh, if we're talking about companies and, and for-profit companies, in marketing, uh, financial risk, such as decision, decisions of who to give a loan or a credit card to, uh, fraud detection, right, which is very analogous to law enforcement and the government applications. Um, so I'd say there's good penetration uh, horizontally, um, but as far as, as, as getting deep into the organization across so many different endeavors and using it more, it is relatively early. Everyone sees the potential and promise. We're seeing great return on investment in, in many projects, um, so that's definitely, the momentum is very much underway. Eric Siegel, thank you. Sure, thanks Mike.